three strikes and you're now out. Hop along there. Hi everybody. We're here at uh, California Adventure uh, for Oogie Boogie Bash. We're standing in front of what will be Villains Grove in a little bit. You can see behind us there. They have the uh, candles and they're setting up for later. It opens up at dusk. Um, we're going to see what kind of uh, immersive treat trails they have, how much candy we can get. We were here in 2019 and we got a load of candy. We had to buy a bag because we just had too much candy <laughs> from the little bag and apparently we're like chubsters and needed more candy yeah. so we got an even bigger bag so that we could get more candy yeah. but villains grove was really high on our list it was yeah. really fun last time and even tonight i've already seen so many great costumes so yeah. really excited about that and there's three new villains this year too they're bringing in um yeah. sid from toy story right and um agatha from, agatha harkness yeah from wandavision and the third one is it is, a, is it cruel no, uh, yeah, Cruella. And Cruella, yeah. the young Cruella, yeah. yeah. So we should be uh, seeing some really cool villains tonight. Let's go have some fun. I love all the villain photo ops they bring out for this night. We got the governor from um, Pocahontas and his pug. And there's Hook. So cool. Me and Monica are going to be getting uh, our photos taken with some of these... Uh, Cool villains later. Um, in case you didn't know it, the Disney uh, photo pass is included with your Oogie Boogie admission. Monica is feeling the Halloween music. Why are you dancing? Babe? Because What's... it's Oogie Boogie. Mickey and Minnie in their Halloween outfits. And we've been here about 25 minutes and they went and took a break, but they're totally worth it because these outfits are never gonna be out again, yeah. you know? Yeah, these photo ops are the best. Seems like the lines for all the good photo ops have been about 20, 25 minutes based on the way the line looks. So it's totally worth it if you're here to get your uh, Halloween pictures with your favorite characters. And they're really fun, like the, what is it, the governor from Pocahontas, is that his name? Yeah. His, he's got the pug with him. What's the pug's name, Peter? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, well, the pug, let us know in the comments if you remember the pug's name. But he's, like, interactive. He moves his ears and he moves yeah. his eyes. It's really cool. We're at the Smoke Jumpers Grill, and Matt knows that I don't really do spicy, so he decided to try me, and we got the jalapeno bacon cheeseburger. So... There's a jalapeno popper here, the bun, and then onion rings. There's um, jalapeno chips, jack pepper jack cheese, pickled jalapenos, bacon, meat, and a chipotle mayo. So I wanted to let you know what I thought and if it's ridiculously spicy. I have no idea how I should eat this. Just going in <laughs> it's really good actually um being a little afraid of spicy <clears throat> I've never had pickled jalapenos before I like them um I like all things pickled so it makes sense but the salt of the bacon and the pickle of the jalapeno is a really good combo flavor on top of the bun so I highly recommend this burger also the onion rings here at smoke jumpers they're always really good it's just Matt and I joke that there's places with good onion rings and there's places with okay onion rings this is a good onion ring place so we got two seasonal offerings here at the smoke jumpers grill uh, Monica ordered the um, jalapeno burger and I ordered the green apple lemonade. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this lid. It looks really cool. And the green apple lemonade is uh, green well, green apple lemonade, but it has cherry filled boba. And it looks like they got a little uh, cherry sauce they put in there too. You can see the sides here. It looks really cool. Very Halloween seasonal looking. And in case 
uh, you're wondering, I wasn't specific. It is, n there's no alcohol in this. Oh, that's good. Um, definitely tastes green apple. And um, that cherry boba is good. And it's a nice wide, like, boba straw. So the uh, cherry boba goes right through it. Mmm. That's really good. It's, a it's tart, too. So, um, the sweet and tart tastes really good. This is awesome. If you're looking for a little, a, a little quick refreshment, this is definitely worth it if you're here. This is one of the new treat trails. It's uh, Sid from uh, Toy Story. It's pretty cool. That actor's doing a good job. Boy, I tell you, the views here at night at DCA really are amongst the best, I think, in the in all of the Disney parks. And I really like some of the views more than even in Disneyland. The horses riding after you. It's time that you end. Oh. I'm laughing because I'm visualizing getting green cream cheese frosting on Matt's face. Um, this is the Halloween candy funnel cake fries from Award Wieners. We've got funnel cake fries with crushed chocolate cream filled cookies, which I think is code for Oreo, and chocolate covered candies with um, gummy candies and candy pieces, which is candy corn, M&Ms, and gummy worms. 
And then this is um, described as a cream cheese sauce, which is kind of interesting. I love funnel cake fries. I think it took funnel cakes to a whole nother level. It makes it easier to eat them. I love funnel cake fries anywhere you can get them. The cream cheese frost is whipped cream and, and cream cheese. Probably heavier on the whipped cream. I don't taste any cream cheese. But it's a super fun, bright, vibrant, candy filled oogie boogie dessert. I love it. I need to make a comment right now about our experience tonight. I'm not really happy with Disneyland. This is a separate ticketed event that we paid money for and all of the um, eateries, all the main cafes and places to get food are all closing up now. This is Smoke Jumpers Grill and it's 9.45 p.m. and it's closed uh, and we just came from Ward Wieners which just closed and a lot of other places are closed. We were at the Paradise Grill earlier and it closed like at 8 o'clock so I don't know why they would charge you extra to come to this event and then start close closing uh, the popular food places an hour and a half early. Uh, I would think they would just leave it open right up till closing time since we paid to be here. Um, I'm kind of disappointed.
such a great job with these immersive lions. I love the Evil Queen. finishing our night here at the Oogie Boogie Bash and you know Matt and I are pretty big Disney fans but it takes a lot for us to decide to get tickets for special events right we came to Oogie Boogie for the first time last year and we were so impressed yeah it was a it, great time it was amazing and so we really expected a lot this year and it was sort of what I expected of a special event which is why we don't do them that often I just I felt like we were rushed for time there were a lot of people you know I I didn't have issues with that so much I expect there to be a lot of people I didn't care that Disney um, closed a lot of the food um, vendors early I mean in big ones like smoke jumpers grill paradise grill award wieners and I mean they all closed like 90 minutes before closing an hour before closing um, at the end of the night, we could only find a corn dog castle to grab a bite at. I was really surprised. And that was really disappointing because they all had special foods for Oogie Boogie. That's the thing. They have the seasonal food. So I figured if we paid um, you know, extra ticket to come in for this event, that the food would be available till the end of the event. And I understand they have to uh, clean up after, but I assume they would just be open until maybe, I don't know, like at least 15 minutes before it's time to leave, not an hour and a half. That's crazy. In fact, Paradise Grill closed an hour after we got in. Yeah, like seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. Oh, and, and they had special food menu items. Right. Like a whole menu. Like a, um, they turned and brought in a bunch of cocoa themed stuff. They had a cocoa cake that we wanted to show you guys. And it right. was all just closed within an hour, which was pretty surprising. And um, so that was a little disappointing, but we loved Bill and Grove. It's still Disney. Yeah. They have a great touch on everything, of yeah. course. Yeah, Villains Grove was wonderful. Yeah. yeah, they do such a great job. Um, I'll say this, between Tonight for Oogie Boogie um, compared to Hollywood Horror Nights at Universal Studios, Universal wins hands down. Yeah, it was just a better experience. I really enjoyed it. I thought they had their logistics down better. Um, There's a lot of confusion here with the mobile ordering and mobile order pickup windows at every place we went. Just didn't seem... Uh, really well run like the way Disney usually yeah. runs things. I was kind of surprised. It wasn't Disney. Yeah. yeah. So we had a fairly good time. There's things that could have been better. And um, we're going to come back one more time. We happen to have tickets for another um, another day. So we'll come and we'll see if it's any different. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. We enjoy doing this for you guys. Thank you for your support. And we'll see you again real soon. Mm -hmm.